What's up guys, this is The Rifeman and I am back bringing you to the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as the United Provinces. So to kind of round off what happened last time, I just had lots of attacks by the Swedish armed forces and I spent most of my time just defending them, just uh, trying to defeat them. I'm going to try and assassinate this guy because they're just, Austria just really hashing my beans. And right now Austria just consists of Poland or a territory in Poland. Oh, let's storm through that. I'm not going to fight that. Mega yield mine. Yeah, I'll take it. Farm. Commercial port. Let's go for Belgrade. Yeah, all to resolve that. Oh, hello. Might be getting a bit of fighting in a minute. Mega yield silver mine. I think they might just raid it. But let's pour some money into this area. How's the infrastructure doing? Rubbish. Let's bring the light of Dutch learning and experience towards you. Prague is mine. Breslau's mine, move into Gdansk. Yeah, just take that. Right. Can I? Yes, I can very simply clear out a few armies. Then how about the same in Berlin? Uh, they've still got a bit of fight in them. I'll let them go one more turn. These guys are going to march around and take out Dak Tanquist. And these guys are going to march up and start interfering in their territory. So then this army, hop over to Liverpool. Hop on board a ship. Deploy the troops, get back into port, and I think this could be the end of Britain. However, they're meant to get looks like they're meant to get quite a nice little garrison. Peace peace sign with Austria. Workers on strike in England. Now they're fine. And now let's tax them. Ha ha. Sixteen thousand. How much is my turnover return? It's really not that much. Not as much as I thought. Oh. Because I'm not getting any trade from America. Out your pop. <laughs> What's your navy like? That was pretty knackered, actually. No, I have to sail past this one. That's still not in great shape either. Cool. Right. So, remember what happened last time, everyone? End turn. The last end turn took the entire session. So, that happens again. <laughs> Could be a bit tiresome. Oh no, don't go down to... Oh. Cool, so the Brits are sallying out from Savannah. Let's fight. So because they've raided that, even though they've laid siege to go away, but the 13 colonies might become... They might become the United States. Which I'll have to declare war on anyway, because... Can't we do anything about that? Glorious Dutch. Okay, how do I... Why don't I experiment with... Experiment with sort of an, the inverse of what I used previously. What I normally do. No, I've got to be really, no, I'm not doing, no, I've got to be really careful they don't, like, start firing in this direction. No, that requires a lot of micro. Eh, to play right up in their face, right up on the road. Built myself forts. 
done like building forts for car for um, artillery. It just boxes them in, and it gets rid of their horses. So you see how it narrows down the field of fire. I much prefer this. All right, let's get two units of our of infantry on this side. Deploying my lights behind my artillery for just a moment. Then over here. See, my plan was to run in front and deploy staves, but I don't think I'm going to bother. To be honest, I think I'm going to just pivot, pivot my whole army. Let's get these artillery pieces. Unlimber them. The Come on, get them all linked up. Drop them off here. Not sure if I'm going to deploy them there. Well, I won't deploy them there. Um, let's get back to the fight. Shrapnel shot. Some British grenadiers running into the fray. Oh, that's not going well. They're being picked apart by many, many skilled marksmen. Routing. Oh, look at these... Sons of Sheffield in Yorkshire and Lancashire being massacred. Well, actually, no, these would be these would be Americans. These would be American loyalists. Some of them, at least. I heard a form square. Canister shot. Grenadiers are back. Just get some good shots with my grenadier regiment. When this guy, Johnson. Everyone pivot. Ah. Ah, oh, come on, fill in that hole. There you go. Done. The 43rd Regiment of Foot is about to get a taste of Dutch steel. Tribal Auxiliary being picked at by a special by my light infantry. Quite a good pairing. All of my light infantry can, are able to fire, I think. Yep, they're all able to fire and oh, they're all beautifully ranked up against the wall. Alright, turn on shrapnel shot, pound that square.
push up. Broken, 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 broken. Shot on shot. Aim at the Worcester Regiment. They're not in a death. Oh, they are kind of in a death raid. Fire on them. Oh, devastating. Shaken, wavering. They must rout. They must rout soon. Speaking of, instead of talking about things routing, why don't I don't just. Why am I not being a busy, busy bee? And allowing my cavalry to do work. As long as I don't get gunned down in the back. Oh, no. the grenadiers, take out the native muskman auxiliary because I don't really... Oh! Fascinating. Well, them actually did come back. The Worcester Regiment. Eh, just go for the file like home citizenry, it's better than nothing. Even though is it kind of like war crimes? It'd be like me butchering all those people that are trying to help in um, Magnificent Seven. It was definitely showing as an enemy symbol on the ground. Excellent. Yep, let them raid away. It's not going to be a problem next time. The Ostra keeps stealing my tech. Radio, another defense. Another defending. It's a spore force of Spanish attackers. Need to figure out exactly what I'm planning on doing with this campaign. Because um, it feels like this is the sort of camp the remaining 60 are just slogging it out. All right. Same as we did before, except I'm going to be more aggressive. that add you to them then do you there general center cav there start
horse guard artillery. Can they run? Yeah, they can. Come on, let then unlimber shrapnel. Good Marines, our first catcher of the day. Aim at the rank behind them. Oh, get out of the way, horses. Oh, wow. That enough. Same deal, aim at the line behind them. Oh. Oh, this is just deadly. Charging their cavalry in, and they will be fired upon by the Holland Guard. These guys look good. No way. There they are, like the little white wigs in the back. These guys didn't really have as many targets. They're taking their time coming out. That's why you've got the Howie. Pretty line infantry. Oh god, that was a zoom and a half. You guys seem bored. Get them around. Cuirassiers. Why not? Oh god. Square. Maybe not. Chopping through my infantry unit very handsomely. There you go, turn fire, we'll back on for this regiment. Guys seem to be taking their sweet ass time. Let me 
Make sure my gunners aren't. Make sure my gunners aren't actually. stacked it. Good. Spanish troops have broken. Ten square off. Let me just run them up here. Really close the circle on him. Well, these guys just hold fire, there's no point in you doing stuff. Oh man, quick fire, quick climb's done so much. So much damage. side, eh? Think you're being clever, don't you? You lying cavalry. Walloon guards, irregulars, some cartillery. Shoot your Walloon guards in the back. Come on, do it. There we go, they're just going to get absolutely destroyed by so much fire. <laughs> the poor buggers there sat there looking at their weapon going, why is it not going off? Yep. That's pretty devastating artillery fire. What's that? Someone's listening to odd music. I hope you guys can't hear that. Uh, right, where's my cuirassiers? Could put it left behind. Nope. Let's run the round first into these guerrillas. Then around into the cavalry, into the artillery. Shattered, this is in the battle. I mean, got them bombed. Hmm. Radio. 
Almost dead. So the Ottomans. Four. Right. We haven't even got to Sweden yet. Oof, holy moly. <laughs> Yeah, the Ottomans are going to try and... Ooh. Who's there? Whew. Who's there? Thankfully, that worked. Same Victory! again. <laughs> they need spending money on... In order to keep them... See if Sweden does anything, there's not much they can do. I mean, I don't own Berlin yet, but I don't know why they might try Sally out. No, nothing. Nothing this turn. Oof. Might actually be able to make some progress. Which would be nice. Rioting has broken out in this region as the lower order. Break in the Netherlands. You must either appease the rioters by lowering taxes or send in the chief to put them down. Good job, Agent. Whatever you Okay. Yep. They're doing their raiding. So firstly, go down to Belgrade. Build you. Upgrade all of that. Repair my home trading dock. Not sure where I was going to go with this, but I'm going to send him up this way. No, oh, I've not. Still not repaired the royal palace. Yeah, that's still good. Um, craft workshop. Fix it. Replenish. Yeah, let's build a build a chap school. Start trying to convert this spot. Do some good old fashion investing. Recruit a second artillery piece. And this army ready to head east towards Klausenberg and Transylvania to help control this this uh, pathway through the Carpathian Mountains. Put some money into Sarajevo. Infrastructure roads. Let's upgrade this settlement to give... Ooh, I can't give this one forts. Um, but forts are good. So let's lay siege to Lisbon. Oh, God, I'm not even going to fight that. I'll just take it. Repair, repair, repair. Demolish your university. Demolish your seminary and demolish your other seminary. Perfect. Then let's lay siege to Dublin. <laughs> oh, let's do it. So I'm playing lots of lots of lots of uh, games as France, and Great Britain's annoyed me so much. And that's five goddamn mortars. I'm going to attack them, but not in this part, because looking at the timer, that will make us run right over again. So thanks for watching, guys, and I will see you in the next part where I will finally crush the British.